The Apple credit card is being canceled. Goldman Sachs wants nothing to do with it. And the Apple credit card is no more. Goldman Sachs is the bank that is backing the Apple card and they have lost $16 billion since the inception of the Apple credit card. That is insane. In the first year of the rollout, they had already lost $3 billion. So as time went on, they still kept burning cash and they still stuck by the side of the Apple card. But I guess times have taken a turn and it's time for them to part ways with the Apple card. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike the Credit Guy. I'm the owner and founder of Limitless Culture. We created the most advanced DIY credit management system in the industry. Our system allows you to take control of your credit, creating custom Metro 2 attack letters every single round, never using templates for only $55.99 a month. Link is always going to be in the description. Now let's get into this video. Credit card debt in America continues to climb. It is going to hit $1 trillion by the end of the year. I'm willing to put some money on that because the numbers just don't drop. As Americans continue to default, Goldman Sachs has found themselves in a very bad position. They have literally burned $16 billion since the inception of the Apple credit card, which is unreal and they continue to stick by the side of the Apple card. I really believe that they were going to not renew their contract and then they doubled down, they renewed it and then they rolled out the new savings account and then now they're in talks of selling it to American Express. This is insane because millions of Americans rush to go get the Apple credit card because it's a very simple process to tie this into a savings account and all your cash back money goes directly into that savings account. It all makes sense. It's a very easy process. And this is something that Apple has been striving to do is to create these technological products that are much more advanced than anybody else. And they did accomplish that. But the problem now that we're seeing is Goldman Sachs wants to back out of the Apple credit card, not only the Apple credit card, but the GM card. They were talking to T-Mobile about doing a co-branded credit card for T-Mobile and they backed out of that conversation also. So, they, so that tells me that Goldman Sachs is literally just burning more money and they see something that we don't know about. It's the economy, this recession. Nobody wants to use the word recession anymore. It's like they're trying to hide it from everybody. People are still losing their jobs. People are still defaulting on auto loans and on credit cards. So what's going to be the future for the Apple credit card? Are they going to get taken over by American Express? Listen, I'll be honest with you, I'm excited. If they go over to American Express, what's that gonna mean for the Apple card? Are we gonna get 2% cash back or 3% cash back? Or are we gonna get two points per dollar spent? What is it going to really truly look like if it does in fact move over to American Express? By early 2022, the Apple card already had over 6.7 million card holders. And as they continue to grow all of their features, one of my favorite features is the actual authorized user program that they have. It's, it's called like the family plan or something like that, where basically you can give your children or your family members, your wife or anybody, you can give them authorized user accounts and then you can manage all of them. So everything has been changing and moving in a great fashion for the Apple credit card. But what is it gonna look like for all of those Americans that have the actual Apple credit card. Are they just gonna get rid of the really super dope metal card? Like, I mean, that is my favorite part, is this metal card. It is literally the coolest thing in my wallet, I'm not gonna lie. And I do enjoy the fact that if I buy any Apple products with the actual card or with um, my actual Apple account, I can actually get more cash back with it. You can't beat that. And they're partnering with way more companies to get you better deals. So it makes sense to keep this credit card alive, but how is Apple or Goldman Sachs going to move all of these customers over to American Express is the real big question. So think about this part. This is the part that really gets me. How are they going to move all these savings accounts? This is the interesting part to me. How does a bank go from one bank to the other? What's interesting about this is something you may not know about American Express. 
they operate completely different than a lot of these other actual credit card companies. American Express is a bank, of course, as you may know, but they operate on a processing system that is completely different and unique compared to everyone else. Like Visa and MasterCard operates on an open loop. Okay, where they go through different channels and how it processes, it bounces back and forth. It's kind of crazy. But American Express operates on a closed loop because they are the processor and they are the actual lender, which gives them a huge advantage that a lot of people don't understand because when Visa processes all these transactions, they only see the dollar amount. But when, when American Express processes a transaction, they get all of the data, how much you pay, where you shopped, all of that. So they can actually properly target their audience that they're trying to market their credit cards to. You've probably heard people say, American Express isn't accepted everywhere. Don't get it. It's kind of crazy because it's usually people that don't have an American Express that are making that claim because American Express is in fact accepted just about anywhere nowadays. It's very rare if someone doesn't ex accept an American Express card that I pull out. It's usually like a smaller mom and pop place that just don't believe in accepting that card and paying the fees. But the real question here is how is Goldman Sachs going to move all of that money from their savings account over to American Express? Because American Express does in fact already have a high yield savings account built into their ecosystem, but you can only use it if you are an active card holder. If this does happen, is American Express going to let us keep the Apple credit card that's metal and like put a little, you know, American Express logo on it somewhere? Or they're gonna issue another card that's made all out of metal? I mean, what's it gonna really look like? And the real question that I have is, is this gonna be a co-branded credit card with American Express or a fully branded American Express credit card because there's a difference of you officially being in the American Express family. You're slightly in the American Express family with a co-branded credit card, depending on, on the specific card. But if you're getting like the Delta American Express, you're pretty much in the family. You are a member of the American Express family. So it's gonna be very unique. And that means that American Express would possibly bring over over 6 million new card holders into their ecosystem. So currently right now, you're going to get 2% cash back whenever you use your Apple wallet to pay with your Apple watch or your iPhone anywhere, 2% right out the gate. You're gonna get 3% at the Apple store, Nike, Uber Eats, Uber, Exxon gas stations, and mobile gas stations. You're gonna do Panera Bread, Ace Hardware, Nike, all of these places you get 3% cash back. Let me ask you a question. If you had the opportunity to switch your cashback rewards into American Express points. Now, would you do it? Because I believe that American Express reward points are much more valuable than actual cashback rewards because it takes way more cash back. And then what are you gonna do with that? You just cash it out? I mean, really, it doesn't seem that great, right? So you can convert that to flights, to hotels, and you can do transfer bonuses like right now, just as an example, we have a transfer bonus that is a 30% transfer bonus with British Airways with American Express. So you're gonna get 30% more on any type of trip that you're going to use your American Express points with. That would be a huge deal if you can do that with your Apple savings account money. A lot of people may also have the actual GM card that is backed by Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is trying to get rid of this card also. So it's not just the Apple card. So what's it gonna look like? Is American Express gonna pick up both the cards? This is kind of crazy. We just don't know. But here's something that nobody else is talking about. It doesn't matter if Goldman Sachs agrees to it with American Express because if Apple doesn't agree to it, they don't feel like it's proper for their users. They just don't like the deal, whatever it may be. Apple can kill this deal and Goldman Sachs is stuck in this contract and it could be a big legal battle, but we don't know unless Apple is going to agree to it. This is a very interesting growing story. Pay attention, but guess what? The actual Apple credit card hack is still alive. They are still issuing Apple credit cards, which is still mind blowing to me. They're in negotiations, but they're still taking applications. I guess it is what it is. It's the cost of being in the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a real newsworthy situation because I know that there are a lot of Apple card holders that are watching my channel. And I want you guys to all know exactly what is going on because this is very important. 
who's gonna pick it up or pick up both of those cards is it truly gonna be american express we're not gonna know this is a really big growing story so if you have anything specific you want me to talk about drop it in the comment section drop some emojis in there so we can get this video going so a lot more people can hear and understand what's going on with the apple credit card now please make sure to watch the next two videos because they are recommended by youtube and don't forget subscribe to increase your credit score